Hi, welcome back to Prospect Bay, where today we are going to Sammamish. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> as you can probably tell from the region view, if you look at those things, I've done quite a bit without you. I actually recorded material for three different episodes, um, but I had a sound issue. No sound at all recorded, so I had to toss them all out. I recorded the first two together. And I had a video open in the background as I was playing and recording that uses a buggy codec that sometimes crashes my sound driver. And when that happens, uh, everything that's using the sound driver all loses its sound capability until it's reloaded. And I reloaded the game after I realized what was happening in those two episodes and then I went to record a third episode but I forgot to reload my capturing software, Fraps, of course. Um, so <laughs> I kind of lost everything from those three episodes. But here's the kicker, I didn't know at first that they were ep silent. So I went ahead and did some stuff off camera too after that, to the point where uh, this place is almost completely unrecognizable from what it was last time I showed it to you. Well, the main town actually isn't too different, it's just added on to a bit, but, and the farms that were already there of course haven't changed, but I've way expanded the amount of land under cultivation, and yeah, I mean, I'm really intending to expand agriculture in this region to a great degree in the coming episodes. Because after a, a while, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be getting on in the game years. And it's going to become more pressing that we place down uh, full education and other civics. And once that happens, the demand for farming is going to just start to drop until, like right now, it's been pretty much capped for a massive amount of time. But eventually it's just going to slowly drop it away until it's nothing. So I want to make sure that we have all the farms we want, everywhere we want, before we end up, you know, doing that on a large scale. But anyway, let me show you some of what's going on here. This is where the rail comes through. Similar to uh, San Junés, I built a spur line that stretches out crosswise across the region. Uh, it Right up to the river here. Here's the original town. Again, not too much changed, although I'm sure buildings have redeveloped and such. This is a new neighborhood right here, as are these more low-density type neighborhoods. Uh, yeah. This rail line here, of course, is new. And is that single track fully throughout? Yes, it is. Alright, for some reason, the when I'm zoomed out, the textures can sometimes look a little weird. Uh, yeah, so far this rail line doesn't connect to anything. It just goes north to south, but uh, because I built it, that means that we have actually two separate rail lines heading into Lagos on each side of the river. So we'll have to deal with that when we get to it. Yeah, this whole eastern part of the city tile, all the development here is new. As you can see, the farms are pretty irregularly shaped. Here, I'll, let me show you my uh, traffic map too, because that really gives you a good idea. Yeah, basically, I've been using a new method for building out farms lately that uh, I start doing in another region as well, that's where I figured it out. Uh, basically I lay out massive areas using shift so that no roads automatically build. So I just have, you know, maybe 30 by 60 tiles in a direction at a time. 
uh, space zoned agricultural at a time with no cuts between it. And then with the game on pause, of course, I use the dezone tool, or first I build out uh, where I want my main roads to be. And then I use the dezone tool to create the cuts between farms. And this way it allows me to build much curvier roads and farms in general than I would generally be inclined to do otherwise because it's much easier to cut out those smaller spaces that are needed for the gaps and for the road alignments than it is to, uh, to actually create that kind of shape in a farm using the agriculture zone tool every time which won't work unless you drag it out to at least 4x4 four four squares which, I don't know, it, I mean the time definitely adds up and it's, yeah you can see that I definitely a lot less grid kind of stuff going on anyway uh, there is really not too much left to do here that I would want to do it's already on game year 38 that might very well be the make this the oldest city in the region so far <laughs> Um, it's got something like 10,000 agricultural jobs for its 7637 population, so that's pretty good. It's definitely, it's actually the biggest job center in the region now because of that, this little rural kind of place. Wow. And I'm getting that render bug quite a bit due to the... I think that farm fields relate to it somehow, and there are quite a lot of them around these screens. So without further ado, I think I'll take you to another town where I'll be doing a lot of the same kind of stuff I did in Sammamish. Uh, I wasn't originally intending to go there before Lagos, but uh, it, I don't know, I mean, I feel like I've been holding out on you with all these, all this off-camera work creating cool stuff, so I'll do a bit of that first. Anyway, I'll meet you there because it'll take a while to load. Alright, so I am in the beautiful city of Kolkata. It's where, yeah, I don't know. I really like the effect I went through in this city. I don't think I've actually shown it on camera before, which is a shame, but you can see what's going on there. It's very narrow. Uh, that bridge marks a point where there's no opportunity to build a ferry on the river beyond it. And even there you have to go down like, I don't know, quite a ways, probably 20 meters or so to reach the sea level. Of course all water in Sim City 4 is at sea level. That's the only way game water can be in this game. Anyway, it looks like a, some neighbor connections are missing, so I think we will... Oh, damn it. Looks like we got some terraforming to do. Yeah. I guess that gives me a good opportunity to talk, to say a couple things anyway. Um, it's actually been a few hours since I last recorded the last seven minutes of this episode that we just watched. Uh, yeah, and in that time I've done with a lot of interesting content. Probably I've already noticed the gray UI mod that's hot off the presses on the specs today. Um aha! Damn it. Uh man. Yeah, I started recording this already and the same thing happened with that. So I just went out of the city without saving, but I think I, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to. Okay, that's probably two days ago when I actually upload this, because I do like to leave myself a buffer there. Um, yeah, I read about it on the 
Metropolis forums that was in development a while back, and I'm looking forward to it. It's a nice change of pace from the default Maxis Blue UI mod, which, you know, I wasn't a really big fan of that color anyway. It's a little bit grayed out and featureless. This, you know, it looks, you know, it's gray, but it's maybe a little bit more fashionable. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm playing SimCity and I care about, and I can be a judge of what's fashionable, that would be funny. Oh, damn, it looks like we're going to have to rebuild those rail and real highway. But that's cool, because I know exactly where they were. But yeah, the other thing I downloaded was uh, dozens, maybe even closer to a hundred new farms. Well, there's of course, and a lot as well. And a lot of new industrials too, although not nearly as many. Uh, but yeah, I was, I'm honestly pretty happy with how they extensive agricultural lands and something else and some animals turned out and you've seen it. Uh, but I also feel I can always use more of the lag in some city. So I see I mean, so I just went and downloaded tons of stuff. That's what I usually do when I'm buying the planes and I'm not really much for pack measures when it comes to custom content. Well, I'm not now, at least I used to be. Uh, but yeah, those, that should improve our new agricultural developments quite a bit. And as I think I already mentioned, I'm planning on doing quite a number of those. So, real highway was here, and the train was there. Oh, come on! Jeez. You know what, can I reconcile my edge? No. Well, guess what, we're using this to get the level we wanted back again. Super classy, isn't it? Oh well. Yeah. Well, the other thing that we wanted to do here was build a bridge from this rail and this real highway over to the new city. It's going to be a bit of a pain to connect them up, but well, that's just life. Uh, so, to do that, we're going to need to raise the terrain a little bit, because I want to bridge that boats can pass under. So, huh. Just like Day Night Cycle got switched on somehow. Yeah. See how this works out. Oops. Failed smoothing terrain, are you kidding? Building a bridge worked here using the same method when I tried it before. Oh well. I think I might have raised the terrain too high. Because I did, and yeah. So. I'll stop stumbling over my own tongue and try to fix this. Oh. 
so yeah yeah that's just fine and that's high enough on its own too so it's a win-win the game was just trying to protect us from building a bridge any higher than we had to which isn't something I was really trying to do so thank you game oh no back down uh, there yeah surrender problem is the worst of this thing seriously I don't think I've seen it as bad in any other city though I remember this when I start, first started building the place I think it might have something to do with the steepness of the terrain or something that, but honestly that seems kind of far fetched I have no idea yeah. anyway I think we want an RHW2 S curve right here Now let's build a highway bridge. No. no. We don't want to build it a tile more than is necessary. So, yeah. Plain on study 2 is fine. Now let's convert this rail here while we're at it. And now, as for what I've been thinking of doing with this rail, I want to bring it into town. But as you can see, there is just no room. I mean, there's this uh, path pipe here along the edge. There's this waterfront area. There are two streets. There's these cliffs, and that only between them leaves two tiles. But, thinking about it, I guess it's really my only option. So I'll go with this. We don't need that new connection anymore. Now that we've built another one that actually leads somewhere. Yeah, so we are just going to have a rail around the edge of the city, it looks like. That's not necessarily such a bad thing. So, yeah, I think this is the best thing we can look at it as far as not causing render issues. Okay, might as well convert this as well while we're at it. Except, eventually we're going to want a station here, so I might as well convert it to double track for a little bit. So, hmm. Trying to pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. Yeah, that should be fine as far as how much space we'll need. Move it back to single track once it's through. So, clearly we're going to have to curve that around. I uh, guess we can start by dezoning this. Demolishing the farm, because we still want a functional farm in that space. Nothing's happened to change that. possible to... Oh no, there's not going to be room to pass that road through, so we're going to have to use a creative solution on that, which isn't necessarily a problem. Yeah. So let's start out by bringing the RHW 
down the mountain, so to speak. Use the rail tool to smooth things out a bit. Yeah, that's good enough, I suppose. And then it immediately transitions into a street. Which I suppose is going to have to come around here. Yeah, I think we're going to change which of these streets is the arterial from now on. That works. Nice. That's a cool looking escape. Yeah, keep that intact. Yeah. Honestly, while well, we're building this, might as well even expand town. No reason why not to, right? Let's necessitate standing up bus stops though. Oops, gotta scroll down from these ones. Alright, so where are my existing stops? Do I not have one around here? Right, there's one there. There should be one here. There is now. And one there. And I think I'll have a couple redundant ones because that's the way it's done. a little bit of a gap of space between the street and the rail. So that seems to make sense. Okay. So here, we really don't have that much space for a wide curve, so that should be fine. You'll probably want to demolish this farm, right? Alright, so this stuff is almost ready already. Uh, now one thing we could do here... Nah, screw it, I'll just take... Uh, I'll just do it this way. I'm gonna expand the street in one square further out. Stop in the water pump there. Water will go here. Uh, bus stop is becoming going to become a street bus stop. Congratulations. Is there a stop in this area? Oh. Well, Damn well should be. Even though there wasn't. Yeah, that should be good enough there. Uh, that is, if it actually fits. Well, I guess we're not going to be using a road bus stop after all. We can use one of these kinds though. I don't think I've used one of those before. Eh, good enough, I guess. Alright, so... Basically, I'm thinking of extending the park 
in every direction. Yeah, I might as well just demolish it all for now, so I'll remember what's there just fine. Uh, yeah, it just takes a bit of a while to scroll down to these pieces. They're literally one of the last in my parks menu and we're there already, so it wasn't that long. Uh, yeah. Let's start out by placing down a T right there. And how about a T right there? Now let's do the outer pieces first. This was a circle. Oh no. It's facing the wrong way. Well, no, it was facing the right way, but the game just didn't want to place it there. Because that's how it does. Alright, what was the other? I think it was gazebo. And that's going to be the same one. Oh, damn it. stuff in the meantime because it might cause some more problems. Here. Straight one tile. That's what I want. And there. And parking area. That also seems pretty important here. I could even probably use two, although If I did, hmm, I mean, it is a train station here. Yeah, I've got more room now, so why not? Sweet. That's how we're doing it. Cross intersection here. And, yeah, we need another cup of teas, it looks like. That is almost it. So that corner's in place. Yes. And, where are those flower beds again? Yeah, we want the hedge facing the sidewalk. Well, not the hedge, but you know, the barrier. Whatever it's called. <laughs> it's not even a barrier, it's just another flower bed. More flowers on these tiles. You know what? Might as well use a wide path here. Use a wide T. Spruce things up just a teeny bit. And for our single tiles, we'll use the bench ones. Plenty of seating right along the cliff. Hope you don't fall off. <laughs> Alright, so I would say that's worth a save, and oops, probably should have done that off camera, oh well. Yeah, actually, I was a bit worried that that park would lose a bit of its charm if I tried to extend it, but if anything, it's a lot better now, I would say. Okay, cool, back in the game. That means it's a good moment to place down our station. Gotta be careful after this not to uh, hover any puzzle pieces over it because that could, well, it causes crashes. 
as we all well know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this looks pretty cool. After this, there's really only room to have one road at a time. Going through the city. It's going to have to continue for a really long time along the edge of the city tile. I do want it to curve back out though pretty soon. But yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I can always create a road connection here or here or something if I really need to. Oh, there is one problem. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. Yeah, if we're going to have one tile wide homes over there, might as well do the same here. Right? I like admiring my city from that angle, but definitely gives me graphical issues. Anyway, I'm going to stop recording for a moment and check the time, because I might have lost track there. And, woo! Yep, plenty of time for one episode. So I guess I'll be waiting till next time till I embark on my next project. Which, since I'm already here, I think it's going to be in this city again. We're going to be extending the local agriculture, or the local area of cultivation. See you later.